Hello and welcome back to the series on JavaScript for testers. I'm Bushra and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Today we'll learn what NPX is. Well, NPX could be thought of as Node Package Runner. It's a powerful concept. So in a previous video on package.json, we learned how to install packages. And the packages thus installed were available in node modules folder in the project directory. We call such packages local packages because they are installed and available only within that project and nowhere else. If you had to use it in some other project, you would have to install them separately there. Now packages could also be installed globally so that once you have installed them, they are available for all the projects to use. But the concept of global packages is discouraged in NPM. So having to install packages locally does pose some challenges that were easy to handle if the packages were installed globally. For instance, there are packages that are required once in a blue moon and having to install them in every package doesn't make much sense. So NPX to the rescue. NPX was introduced in npm version 5.2.0 npx is pre-bundled with npm let's see what all pain points npx relieves easily run local packages to run a package say mocha this is what we had to use but with npx it is as simple as this npx mocha so npx can reach into node modules to run package binaries. Installation less command execution. npx allows you to run npm commands without having it installed locally. That sounds too good to be true, but that's the power of npx. It is pretty useful mostly because you don't need to install anything. It will download the package for you, let you run the command and remove the package. And secondly, because you can run different versions of the same command. You can specify the version using at version. Run the same code using different node versions, which is great. Run arbitrary code snippets directly from a URL. So you aren't restricted to the published packages. You can even run GitHub gist using npx. I hope you get to use and appreciate the ease NPX provides. See you in the next video where we'll be learning about arrow functions.